It's time for the Rocky Mountain Horror Show. <laughs> We doubled up on our Halloween attractions. We sure did. This week, because we know it's the last weekend before Halloween coming up. Wanted to make sure you had as much info as we could give you. Right. Uh, we looked into haunted car washes. Yes. Uh-huh. And we got, uh, okay, Fire Hose on 17th is good. Mm-hmm. Um, Pony, Pony Express and Pony Express. Ammon. Uh-huh. Right. There's always a line for that one. Yeah, I've seen that a lot. When they do that. But the message we got was that's mostly for kids. Well, and, yeah. And I don't want to spend 15, 20 bucks on a car wash. Now, I will say, I feel like in general, spook houses are mostly for kids. Right. Don't get me wrong. Love them. I think mm-hmm. they're a good time and total romp. But realistically, you get to a certain age and you can just walk through that and it's fine. So we went to, we did the family friendly, you pick Red Barn, and then mm-hmm. we did the close to home Theater of the Lost Souls and Shelley. Yes. You pick Red Barn. We just got some great footage and want to show you this. What an idyllic family fall festival type atmosphere they've got going on super there, right? cute yeah and their uh pumpkin chucking looks ridiculously fun yeah okay look at this you get I small little wanna... pumpkins right fire them through a cannon at these targets mm-hmm. and they make a cool noise i do kind of want to know what they've got against bugs bunny <laughs> i don't know if you saw but was he that was one of the targets it was one of the targets <laughs> like the other, all of the others were normal animals and then there's just bugs I'm like, what did he do? <laughs> Warner Brothers and Looney Tunes approved, I'm sure. <laughs> right. But they had a slide. They had little bouncy things for the kids. Oh, yeah. Those things were cool. There was the smell of fresh baked pizza in the air. Mm-hmm. And I think donuts, too. There was I, I yes. could have sworn I smelled donuts. I don't know where they came from, but it smelled really good. Pretty sure. And, and then, of course, the area where you get to take the selfies. We had Rango with us. And here's Carly and Rango on the hay bales with mm-hmm. the pumpkins. Yeah, he just rode around in my basket. It was actually really cute. He seemed like he was having a good time. And then here's my version of a cheesy hay bale <laughs> pumpkin shot. I, I thought that was cute. I, I was going for... Do you follow, what's his name, Chris Munch Comedy on Instagram? I don't think I do. He does this kind of... It's fall, y'all. Super cringy, <laughs> looking straight at the camera, oh, okay. uh, as if it's a video on a dating site. Oh, oh, that guy. And he guy. talks about his mother and how she'll really <laughs> right. like you. Right. And how we can go to the fall festival together. Anyway, uh-huh. but I didn't realize this. When my head is down and, my, and I'm looking up and my eyebrows, they do this weird, almost sinister looking thing. I need to be careful about- Maybe a little Jack Nicholson-y. <laughs> making that expression. It scared me a little bit. <laughs> you get those murder eyes. <laughs> Yikes. Anyway, we just went through the attraction area to get to the pumpkin selection. They have yeah. orange pumpkins mm-hmm. and white pumpkins and red pumpkins. Well, we were just looking around, really. Like, I haven't been there for almost a decade. And when I went, it was just a pumpkin patch. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah, but they've really plussed it with the train and everything. Yeah, it's Are you so kidding? cute now. Then on Thursday, mm-hmm. when it got cold and chilly, and it was actually raining that day. <laughs> oh, it was terrible. And I had never been to the Theater of the Lost Souls. And Shelly, there's really Theater of the Lost Souls and Hospital of the Lost Souls. And mm-hmm. you might be asking yourself, well, where in Shelly? Oh, my sweet summer child. <laughs> you just go to Shelly. Yeah, you can't miss it. It's right there. It's right next to the park where they had spud days. You know how people it's, say- It's just right there. Yeah, you know how people say, oh, you can't miss it, and then you totally miss it? Uh-huh. You really can't miss it. You can't, you can't miss it. Yeah. <laughs> What'd you think? I thought it was fun. I thought it was fun. I think that it's got some really interesting uh, bits to it that I think do sort of separate it from a regular spook house. I did notice that they did definitely hit on a lot of the like, you know, big rooms that you tend to get in in scary house, like in a uh, scare houses, mm-hmm. like um the arachnophobia room, the clown room, the doll room, that kind of stuff. Uh, there was one part that did freak me out. Uh-huh. And I was really impressed because, you know, there's only so much that someone screaming in your face will scare you. Yes. But at one point, we had to crawl through this like very dark little space, which I didn't like already. So Carly decides to do the crab walk, meaning feet forward. Well, because it was sort of like a ledge, and I was kind of hoping to like just sort of stand and crouch. But I was about to go, like I was about to put my feet forward so I could go down. And um, right then, the scarer in that room, they didn't scream. They didn't really make a noise. They just ran 
up that little hallway toward me, and that sound was enough that I ended up, I did end up crab walking backwards to you, because I was like, there's no way in hell I'm facing this alone. <laughs> now, that I was unaware that this was happening, because you sort of, there's a hairpin turn, and I was still <laughs> yeah, you were still in the right hallway in the... before. Uh-huh. So I turned the corner to be greeted by Carly <laughs> doing the crab walk backwards <laughs> to me, which yeah. was the scariest part of the whole thing for me. <laughs> That's hilarious. I didn't realize that I'd scared you. Yeah. <laughs> Especially because I when was When you really... see the person that's supposed to be normal <laughs> acting scary, it's sort of like in The Exorcist when they're crawling on the wall, you know? Right, right. That's fair. Or that's on the fair. ceiling. See, and I was just looking for a little comfort. <laughs> uh, there, there was another funny moment for me where we walked into a room mm -hmm. and I was like, that is a smell from my childhood. It totally smells like... <laughs> I was like, oh, yes. A two-stroke <laughs> chainsaw in the garage. Yep. <laughs> yeah. I walked into that room, smelled it, and walked a little faster so I could get to the exit before the guy came out. Mm -hmm. You were trailing just a little behind me, and he got you instead. <laughs> and I was like literally out the door when I heard it going, and I didn't even look back. I will say, I kind of wish I could see it without all of the spook house stuff in it. Like, I just want to see the old theater, because mm -hmm. I love old buildings like that. And honestly, there's, there's a part of my soul that hurt a little seeing it turned into that, because I was like, Oh, I want it to just be refurbished into a pretty movie theater. And I'll say it's not just a walkthrough. It it, it is a little physical. Like you have yes. to duck in a couple of places. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. There are parts that are completely dark and you kind of have to feel your way around yeah. through a couple places. I was really glad that for once I didn't wear a dress. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's right. You didn't. <laughs> yeah. And then you get to jump in a coffin and go down a slide. It's fun. It was actually really fun. And the scariest part of the whole thing was uh, the fact that they were out of hand sanitizer at the end of that. Oh, I right. know. That was terrifying. You know, there was another... Actually, I think the scariest room was that one with the mirrors. Those two schmoes in there were scary. Did you see them? At least one of them was extremely frightening. Yeah. yeah. My goodness. Uh-huh. Uh. Oh, and speaking of haunted attractions, you know, we've talked about how Idaho Falls this year mm -hmm. doesn't have one. Right, right. Dr. Slaughter's became Planet Doom. Mm -hmm. And then Dare said, no, we're good. Yeah, which bummer. And I don't know if that's because... Um, Congratulations to drugs for winning the war on drugs. <laughs> I'm kidding. Could be. <laughs> kind of. But but this is but this is good to know. Even though drugs war won the war on drugs uh -huh. and Dare decided not to do a haunted house anymore, <laughs> you'll be pleased to know that um Planet Doom will soon become Out West Bible Church. Because we need more churches in this town. So just, well, ki just kidding. We do need a little more variety. And ultimately, <laughs> so uh, uh, good triumphs over evil. Right, right. <laughs> That's the way I look they at it. They beat back Satan with a stick. <laughs> <laughs>